right, welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. The way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our wonderfully talented and creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we are in our New York studio and we're hanging with musician and recording artist Logan Jacobowitz. 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 That's why I'm I go not going to be able to. <laughs> I go by LJ, so it's a lot easier. LJ. Yeah. All right. So yeah. tell, us, um, tell us about your musical genre. What kind of music do you perform? It's, I don't like that like category is rap because like like I told you earlier I'm trying to branch and like almost create my own little not like genre but like you know rap devil in a little like country pop you know nice. so yeah very good yeah. Um, what drew you to the music industry I just remember like being younger and just being like nine ten years old and just always wanting to dance sing rap so like oh. it was just almost just something that just kept me up afloat happy all the time so like that's cool do you play an instrument i could no i i really don't but like recently like fully investing into music like i slowly starting to learn music theory okay so like i'm starting to like figure out notes and like how to compose compose my own music and like now i'm just starting to like produce my own beats but i'm not fully ready to like go on my own beats yet because right. that's like a process so. yeah so yeah, yeah. i'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work yeah. um so what is your creative process like you write your own songs yes i do so yeah. how do you come up with your um your music do you um base it on life events a lot of it's like stuff like that it's almost like pure emotion so like this one project is like that I'm working with, is he goes by Ivy League, the producer. Okay. Like, I've been going out to Cornell a lot to, like, work on that. And, like, it's almost, I had a hard time of letting go of, like, a lot of stuff that was, like, bothering me. Uh -huh. So, like, a lot of the new stuff that I'm coming out with is literally pure emotion. And, like, just, like, if I feel a certain way, say, like, I get out of work and I'm stressed out, I immediately, like, go home and start writing. And, like, and then by the end of it, I'm just, like... It's gone. Just a it's gone. Like I, yeah, it just it's literally a release. It like just blocks out and makes me happy. happy. Like just get everything <laughs> out of me almost. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, do you collaborate with other musicians or people in the entertainment business? Yeah, I I try to collaborate with as many people as possible. Um, lately it's like mostly that Ivy League dude, and there's a buddy that I went to school with that I grew up with. He goes by Cryptic. So he's he's a local artist. I've been linking up with him a lot. Ramo, who's another close friend growing up. It's almost like my circle uh -huh. that I grew up with. I try to like mainly stick with, unless like, but like when the time is right, I try to like right branch out. It's almost like I could feel the energy with someone like I, oh, on yeah. the, before if I already know if like that's someone I'm gonna want to work with. Oh, that's cool. So like it's almost yeah. like a gut like yeah. yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, do you perform out in um, local venues? I've actually never performed before. You haven't? Ever, you ever. just record. I've, I've only, done. it's only been like a year since I've been taking music seriously. Oh so like my this is, goodness. Yeah, so, so you're so brand, still, new brand new artist. Brand new, brand That's new. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your most favorite part of the music industry? The love, honestly. Just like... I, I go out to the bars, see Bunny, somebody, and yo, this one song, blah blah blah. They're Snapchatting me it, like just, it's just like, it's like, all right, they can almost feel what I felt like when I was writing it and making a song. So like, that, yeah. that's mainly like, yeah, that's why I so do it, cool. and mainly for myself too, because of like the release that I get from, like, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, what's your what's your least favorite part? Do you have one yet? There's, there's time. No, no, there, there 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 is a least favorite part. Like there's times where. I'm with like somebody that I'm like collaborating with and it's like I almost have to be in that right mode to like there's times where I feel like I'm forcing it or it just doesn't feel right at the time or like so that's the part like I wish I almost had that constant like right energy and like just the timing and everything to, but like besides that there's really nothing that that you don't like about that maybe a little frustration at times but yeah but that's like now that, now that you're working on your new cd do mm -hmm. you have a lot of say that you're working with someone that knows kind of the business oh definitely this ivy league kid is definitely music oriented like he's he's a kid that had instruments in his hands when he's like four years old so he doesn't have control though you have control. no well this this project it's a joint project so like so, so we both, both we both voice our together. opinion it's like 50 okay. 50 almost very yeah. good but the other important. project my first project was mainly me like i'm like 
I, I like I was picking the beats. I didn't make the beats, but I'm listening from like other producers. Okay. And, but like when it comes to like a collective thing, like I'm putting my whole say in it. So, okay. Because yeah. that that is very important. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we'll talk about that. You have your um, you you have. A CD prior. Yes, to I have. This, and you're I have working a, on your next. Yes, that one's my debut project. It was Step Back. It's a eight song album that's out on Spotify, Apple nice. Music, SoundCloud, which is like a free okay. way that people can listen. And to this it. is the first one. First one, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you're an independent recording artist, yes. correct? Independent, yeah. Okay. Um, so when is your CD expected to be released? Do you know? Oh, yeah. um, we're shooting for it. Probably late July, early August. And like, you just shoot a video, you told just me. Just shot a video. That way, so like when the song comes, or like the album comes out, we'll have like a video to like promote it on top of it. That's fantastic. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That must have been fun and fun. exciting. I love, I, I love being in front of a camera. I just, <laughs> this is awesome. It's going to uh, love you right up, Logan. Good. I um, hope. <laughs> so what's coming up for you? Um... Are you planning on doing local venues, um, more recordings maybe after this? Oh, I definitely don't plan on stopping making music. And But like I've talked to the Ivy League dude, like me and uh, possibly that cryptic dude that's also doing a, a project with Ivy League, we want to start touring soon. Good. We, want, we definitely want to start touring soon, maybe like after these projects come out and that way like almost us three like we we're all like like that's our circle almost good yes yeah. fantastic and where can people find you follow you um get your music um i have an instagram page sir lj underscore get money twitter f facebook i have a facebook page um youtube page i have one music video out from my last project bad time stories um couple other project videos coming up soon it's a couple like singles coming up too that are just unreleased that I'm just waiting on beautiful. for the right time to release beautiful where are your videos on YouTube, YouTube. just look up Sir Alger Get Money I'm pretty sure I'm the only one with that name it's a pretty unique <laughs> name <laughs> That'll de definitely come up. And remind people, we want to remind people that Logan is the one that um, wrote the anthem to one of our authors that we had on here, um, Barry Cavanaugh. Yep. He wrote the anthem to Trees, Trolls, and Their Secret Gifts, and where can they find that? That's also on iTunes, Spotify, That's and all that. That's fantastic. was... I was so happy when Barry came to me to do that. Old he said coach. you were, we're excited. We go way he back. said you were so fast. Yeah. And then it got stuck in your head and you were like, I got to put it away a minute. I can't yeah. get it out of my head. Yeah, I definitely had to take a break. Because it's like I was confined with the children book. Like that's not me fully expressing myself. It was a fun thing because like I went out of my comfort zone, obviously. Yeah. But like I had to keep it G. <laughs> yes. I had, I had to keep it almost cheesy and like repetitive yeah but like yeah as soon as he brought it my way I, I pretty much recorded it top to bottom in the day I was excited oh I was eager God. to get to it so that was fun that it was definitely fun I know he was excited about it yeah, I know definitely. um do we have time for a game Harry we have time for a game let's play games on this All show right, let's do with it. you I'm gonna play never have I ever oh, have you man. ever played yeah I play that when I'm drinking <laughs> oh there you go he knows the rules then we don't play the right way obviously we don't have time so we're just gonna pick a card I'm gonna play with you all right and we're just gonna answer the card never have I or have I lay it on me okay never have I ever peed in a Gatorade bottle <laughs> Oof. no I wouldn't the, the hole's too small I don't know if I ever peed in, I don't think I peed in a Gatorade bottle I don't think so I never have ever put the finger down or whatever <laughs> however you play take a sip your turn. All right, I'm Your gonna go turn. from the back. Oh yeah, yeah. Never have I ever chosen to play video games over sex. Oh, that's an interesting one. Cause that's uh, I don't play video games, and I would have sex over a video game any day. <laughs> Good answer. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's just me though. Well, guys, it's been so much fun hanging with Logan today. I'm Allison Murray, but before we go, we would like to give a very special thank you to our partners at Krypton Radio out of LA, Famous Faces and Funnies, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, Space Coast Comics, Asylum Convention and Entertainment Services with Heather Reed, Embellish FX out of Orlando, Florida. Uh, without these guys, we couldn't do what we do. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will, too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guests. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log on, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, Logan. That was fantastic.